Your doctor has just informed you you are going to need a big operation, an operation with anticipated significant blood loss. They indicated that your hemoglobin isn't high enough to safely perform the procedure that you require. It is understood that you don't feel comfortable accepting blood products. That's okay. You've been referred to a team of individuals at the Center for Bloodless Medicine and Surgery. This team specializes in getting you prepared for surgery. We will make sure your hemoglobin is high enough that should you suffer blood loss during your procedure, you have extra blood to spare. A normal hemoglobin is anywhere from 11 to 15 grams per deciliter. We will talk with your surgeon about the type of surgery that you need and the anticipated blood loss that can be expected. We will also talk with our consultant hematologist. She will help us to determine what type of treatment is best for you. Our team will determine what your hemoglobin needs to be before your surgery, and we will help you to get it there. This process is very simple. You can do it at home. From your local pharmacy, you will need to purchase a bottle of ferrous sulfate. This is an iron supplement that you can buy over the counter. It is relatively inexpensive and we have found it to be well tolerated by most of our patients. The biggest complaint we hear is that it causes constipation. While you're at the pharmacy, we suggest that you pick up a laxative and take as directed when you start the ferrous sulfate. This will help you to avoid any constipation problems. Please take ferrous sulfate three times a day. It works best if taken on an empty stomach with a glass of orange juice. It's a good idea to take the ferrous sulfate until the contents of the bottle are gone. If your hemoglobin is very low to begin with, this is called anemia, you may need longer to build up your hemoglobin stores. It's kind of like having a tune-up before your surgery. In addition, the iron supplement you will need to make a couple of dietary changes. You'll need to increase your dietary intake of iron. We usually ask our patients to do a Google search for foods rich in iron. I think you will be pleasantly pleased with what you find. Keep your list handy so that you can refer to it often. You should have foods like red meat, pork, poultry, seafood, beans, dark leafy vegetables, and dried fruit on your list. I think you will find it easy to make these dietary changes. Increasing your hemoglobin using supplements and dietary changes is the safest route to go. It's also the slowest. If you know you're going for a surgery, it would be to your advantage to contact your team at the Center for Bloodless Medicine and Surgery as soon as possible. In some cases, you may not have enough time to increase your hemoglobin using this plan, or you may need a hemoglobin level that cannot be achieved with oral supplements and dietary changes. There are still a couple of options for this scenario. Intravenous iron can be given as an outpatient procedure over a short amount of time. It is well tolerated and, in most cases, associated with minimal risk. We also use a medication that increases red blood cell production, thus increasing your hemoglobin. This medication is called erythropoietin or Procrit or sometimes EPO. It is given as an injection or it can be given intravenously. Though EPO is associated with more risk than intravenous iron, we have used it very successfully in many of our patients. It is important to have a discussion with your bloodless team about taking EPO before you decide if it is right for you. Your bloodless team is always available to help you with your informed decisions to safely avoid blood transfusion. We are experienced and we have many positive outcomes that we are happy to share with you. Please ask us your questions and tell us everything you are thinking. We are here to help.